This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and back with another rant. Um, I guess this will be an old man rant. I don't know. It's just going to be a rant. Um, we're going to talk about Kunye West. Yes, I'm calling him Kunye West. Um, for those who are huge fans of uh, Kunye and don't like it i'm sorry I, I have to do this um i don't usually do videos like this but i'm kind of tired of the way that we treat our celebrities and how we excuse them for doing ridiculous things or, or behaving ridiculous so if you don't know um kanye west who prefers to be called yay i'm not calling him yay um that's his nickname he called kanye west whatever dude um you know, and I hate saying this because this seems mad rude, but I feel like his mom would be so ashamed of what type of man he's become today. So, uh, for those who don't know, Kanye has been on a weird spiral over the last year or two where he's been doing and saying some crazy stuff. Um, now, look, I don't knock a person um, totally for their political affiliations. But I do knock them when they seem to be bereft of common sense when it comes to things like that. And his whole campaign for the MAGA thing, wearing the hats, going on Saturday Night Live and in the post credits, going off, talking about how people need to um, get into love. And part of that love is to just, like fall behind um, the great things that Donald Trump is doing. Just asinine. Um, it's asinine. People with a brain understands why people rail against Donald Trump. Um, and in particular, the Republican Party these days because they're, they seem to be um, kind of, uh, you know, how can I say this? They seem comfortable with the idea of the things that this guy is doing that is um, not necessarily within the bounds of what America is all about. Um, he's doing things that are, um, if any other day we would call out a president for tyranny, possibly trying to become a dictator and all this, yet he seems to float like straight by him, which is insane. But Kanye backs this type of mess and he went on a rant admonishing people about them. Then he comes out the day after and talks about how he's on a campaign to abolish the 13th Amendment. Now, for those who don't know what the 13th Amendment is, it's generally known as the amendment that abolished slavery. Now, there are some things in the 13th Amendment that people do find um, pretty, um, you know, reprehensible. Um, because, uh, let me see exactly what it says. Um, so... 13th Amendment basically says this, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Basically what it does is it abolishes slavery. You can't have people slaves. Now it says except as punishment for crime, meaning if you're locked up convicted of a crime they can basically do what they do now, which is put you out on the roads and clean up or whatever they do. Chain gangs. So be it. Um, you're no longer your own person when you're in jail. You are basically of the state and the state can basically mead you out for work. If so, choose because you committed a crime in your prison. Now, I know what a lot of you who are backing his foolishness are saying. Um, and I've heard many people, especially other rappers, say this, is that basically the 13th Amendment, what it does is it encourages the incarceration of African Americans or people of color. Um, first of all, no, it does not. Yes, some people can try to interpret it that way. And yes, there are going to be jackasses that are going to interpret it that way. But please don't be stupid and ignorant to think that the only reason they put that in there is to cover their basis so when they arrest a black person, they can justify 
what happens to someone black who goes to prison or justify them putting them in prison. Um, no, because for you to think that you have to be ignorant to the fact that even without this part of the 13th Amendment, that the judiciary system would not exist, that there would be no criminalization of certain things, that crimes wouldn't be, um, you know, subject to people being convicted for them and therefore being um, given over to the state. Uh, it, it's dumb. It's very, very dumb to think that if you get rid of the 13th Amendment, that this eliminates the injustice within the criminal system. Because the judiciary system was created to stand and do certain things. Like what? Basically, incriminate people who they feel have committed um, infractions against the law. They're going to arrest you with or without the 13th Amendment. There will be an equities within the judicial system with or without the 13th Amendment. Getting rid of the 13th Amendment is not going to say, okay, well, we can't falsely convict someone of a crime because our hands are tied. Even though the judiciary system is still here, we can't arrest you and treat you like we want to in crime. No. Um, I'm pretty sure you look through the law books, um, legal jargon, you'll find reasons that they can do so without the 13th Amendment. The 13th Amendment basically is just saying that, no, we cannot fucking force you into any type of labor against your will, unless, of course, you're a criminal. It's all it says. It's simple, plain text. Yes, it sounds archaic because of the way that it's written, because it basically sounds like they are well, they're able to turn you into a slave because you are convicted of a crime, which is one of the reasons why I've always said they need to go back and rewrite the Constitution because a lot of the stuff written in the times that it was written sounds very, very bad. It's just like the fucking Second Amendment. No, am I saying that we need to abolish guns and like take away your guns, you fucking gun nuts? No. But there is something distinctly wrong with the fact that the Second Amendment is written during a time in which militias were a thing and that the states had to call upon militias. It also is definitely written to put down revolutions um, as well, which, you know, understandable back then, especially since you had two extremely hostile entities within your state that were being subjugated to horrors, African-Americans and um, American uh, Native Americans. Yeah, but um, times to give up that ghost would help and improve upon it because it's that one loose law that allows people to feel like they can carry whatever the fuck they want. It also lets you know that, hey, y'all motherfuckers keep talking about we need a revolution. Go on. Law clearly states that at the time in the need of it, a state can call upon a militia of anybody in particular. White people who love guns, which um, is the majority of the gun owners in this country can be called upon to fucking put your ass down as need be if that's how they feel so yeah um yeah you probably should want like a revision of the second amendment in certain areas you know what i mean but neither here nor there basically we're talking about the 13th amendment it's the same thing sure the wording can be changed everything in the, in the constitution can be adapted for modern times we have while our laws seem to have carried over through the years there's elements of them that are just so archaic that it's like yo we need to re-specify things because this ain't like it was back when these were written um you know what i mean but definitely no you don't need to abolish the 13th amendment because it's not going to help black people one you say that you abolish the 13th amendment okay so that takes away um the legal um objection to slavery so the powers can be can try that shit again. Um, if you revolt, hey, they got the Second Amendment to stand behind. So fuck you. Also, again, as I stated before, the judiciary system is still going to be the judiciary system. They will arrest people for crimes that they see fit. And they will treat you like they see fit on the judiciary system. Getting rid of the 13th Amendment doesn't mean that you're free to do whatever the fuck you want. And not get caught up in it or... You can't be falsely accused of a crime. No. You know damn well if you used your brain 
that the biggest key part that people are going to key in, especially the powers that be, is that, yo, I can enslave people any, again. Because they're not going to stop falsely arresting black people. The police is not going to stop um, shooting black people falsely and getting away with it. The justice system is going to remain. It's going to be a faulty system in the direction of some minorities. Um, the way that you feel it is. And your dumbass is still going to go to jail for doing some dumb shit. Bill Cosby is not going to be all of a sudden in like you know subject for release because of the 13th Amendment is gone for all you guys who think Bill Cosby shouldn't go to jail. No, that changes nothing because that doesn't abolish the judiciary system. And that doesn't abolish the practices that we find abhorrent, inherent um, in this system. So stop being stupid, please. And stop following idiots like Kanye West who really, really, really has no clue as to what the fuck they're talking about. You know, keep forgetting that this is a guy who felt like slavery was a choice. And therefore, he's saying that that's why you need to get rid of the 13th Amendment. Because we chose to do this, so why the fuck do they need to abolish it? That's our fault. As well as trying to throw in that hole, and this will keep black people from getting arrested shit. You're, talk you're, you're celebrating an idiot for idiocracy. Stop it, people. Grow the fuck up. Pay attention to what's going on in the world. And actually read. Find out about history. If you don't want to read, find somebody like me who cares about history, who actually digs into this stuff, and have a discussion with somebody smarter than you. Somebody exactly smarter than Kanye West. He's a fucking idiot beyond making a beat and throwing together one of his mediocre rhymes. Look, I like Kanye's music. Um, at least I liked it. His recent stuff, no. But I... Will not be throwing this dude up as a forefront leader in the community when it comes to speaking the truth and being quote unquote woke and all that. He's a fucking moron, and you're making yourself into a fucking moron by following his ideology. Seriously, stop it. Stop following these famous people in anything they say or do because they're famous and they do something you like. Fucking follow your own path and your own brain. You know, that's what he's doing. He's following his own path and his own brain. He's spewing nonsense because he feels like enough people will buy it. Don't buy that shit. Don't be a fucking idiot. Please. For the love of God, y'all. Stop it. It's ridiculous. But I'll go probably more on this on our podcast over at Wise Guy too. Um, I just had to get this rant out of my system because it really, really bothers me how willing people are um, to go down these ridiculously idiotic past especially with people because they have some weight because of their name and fame um, it's dumb and we need to stop that it's, it's a problem with society that we have that needs to be rectified seriously um, because at the end of the day uh, if this guy really gave a fuck about you beyond how you feel about him uh, yeah he probably wouldn't say stuff like this. He knows that it can grab your attention and that people react and then they'll go on by Yandi, which is a fucking dumb name. God damn it. <sighs> the album. Yeah, whatever. Um, let me know how the album is, y'all, because I don't think I'll ever listen to it. I'm sorry. I'm kind of done. Kanye kind of died with um, 808s and Heartbreaks um, for me. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 musically wise, every other area in his life, he's always been like fucking, like, no, fuck you, dude. You're a fucking retarded moron. Just do your music and stick what you're uh, good at because you just fucking make an idiot out of yourself. But you have a legion of people who are willing to buy into the Odyssey. So, hey, I can't knock him too much, right? He's gotten everybody swooned to his bullshit. So, yeah. It is what it is. Anyway. Whew. Now that I got the off my chest, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think and I'll haunt you later. This your boy Black Magus and I'm out. Deuces.